Alright guys, Supreme Kami here. So today we are going to be taking a look at the UR Select tickets. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people might have questions as far as what to pick. So I'm going to be doing this in more like a tier list style so you guys can kind of see what I'm ranking the specific units are. Um, so I'm probably going to be doing this only for the unit itself. As far as the pilot, I'm probably going to be recommending you guys to get the corresponding pilot to that specific unit so that you know you guys can make that you know nice complimentary as well so we do have quite a lot of units so uh the only unit on the roster that are kind of like you know dwindling down is the purple unit and then the yellow unit i, I, don't, I don't know why they're just not there's just not a whole lot of them i i, I don't get it so with that said let's actually hop into the actual tier list itself so i have not really ranked everything yet so we are looking at from dcb and a and s so i immediately do know things i want to put on you know so s is probably going to be things that are not formable at all uh because of this roster there are units that you can form while there are some units that you cannot so s is probably going to be reserved for those but it does not mean that they are better than the rest right so we just want to make that clear because they are in technically harder to get while the formable one with time due uh you guys can get it it's just it's just gonna take a minute so right at the back i'm gonna put narrative gundam uh the rick z uh the unicorn and then we have the uh shores uh Sack one uh these unit actually right uh, the EX gives a specific buff to the color wheel, so I believe this one gives it to red. Uh, so all of them does. Uh, for the for the shores, uh, Zaku one, this one gives it specifically to Zaku type. So that's actually pretty good because despite this game um rolling around you know you see a lot of gundams and whatnot they are still quite a lot of zaku type unit running around so i think it is best to kind of you know it, it's it's a good it's, it's definitely good so we have that um so as far as uh, what's next I, I i guess a little bit um let's see so i'm gonna put the victory down right here or probably like right, right around there i guess um this one can go up top because this one is uh, not formable and then we have let's see i'm looking at the hama hama as well Th these were these are actually pretty good this one does you know massive damage via its ex skills ex skill also gives a uh, crit rate up the actual skill one and two actually gives more damage so i mean like i cannot pass it on that uh the hama hama gives a uh, does like an aoe attack and it also stuns when when you stun the enemy it does more damage i cannot pass it on that, on that as well pretty good also give i believe some sort of resistance so we have we have some tanking capability so that's actually pretty nice i i i won't lie so that's why we put those two up top so delta plus unfortunately i'm just gonna have to give it a c tier is good uh this one is actually not a formable unit but at the same time this one is so much more of a support unit that is not really doing a whole lot on the table itself so i i just can't i i just feasibly cannot put it any anywhere higher than you know <laughs> than the s right I, I just can't do it um as far as the shards uh, zaku 2 i'm gonna put it at b tier uh it's actually not a bad unit uh it does pretty good damage it stuns after seven seconds uh it also does you know increase projectile damage by 18 percent uh on evade there's you know two effects on evade for skill 2 that increases speed and then as far as the in further enhancing the projectile damage but uh i think it's just you know pretty generic uh it's, it's not anything that's you know you guys should be like oh i gotta get it right now so this one is also formidable as well so no need to immediately rush for it uh one of you has to get it that's definitely fine so yeah all right bayonet can go uh, the bayonet custom I, I think that's how you pronounce it so this one is doing a whole lot of something at the same time doing a whole lot of nothing so this one does evasive uh increases your ev evasive uh, percentage um you know it increases your accuracy for both skill one and the ex skill as well so at the same time it seems like this one could be dodging a lot or could be weaving in doing a lot of tech but i don't know i i feel like it's not really bringing too much to the table where let's say 
uh, unit that is not farmable, I, I don't really deserve, I don't think it deserves to be anything higher. So I'm just going to put it at B for now. All right, I'm going to slap GPL one up top. Uh, this one is a farmable unit as well. And at the same time, this one actually does give ground unit uh, restore HP by 18%. So that is actually quite clutch at moments where your allies are about to die and this kicks in that is going to save you and at the same time it's so it does do quite good damage as well so this one is i guess it's more for like long long style battle um, because there's a lot of buffs in here that kind of fizzles out after 20 seconds and whatnot but this one uh this one is going to be meant for a longer playing or like a longer event content so that's going to be good so that's why i think putting it at a is actually not that bad all right we have the pair Pale Rider. Um, this version of the Pale Rider is the space type version. Uh, I'm putting this one as S tier. First of all, this one is not farmable. And secondly, this one does an additional damage to new type machine. So uh, as the game does progress onward, uh, we are going to be seeing a lot of units that has new type or a lot of pilot or new type anyways. Like you have uh, the new Gundam, you have Sasabi, like even Double Zetas. I think those, they are like new type right so it's going to be very beneficial to counter them uh in an event that does run to it first of all you do have to encounter a new type enemy or a new type machine so but at the same time you are getting that extra bonus so i still think it's actually quite good itself uh and you know this one is pretty much going to be uh at the start of the battle it does have some more let's say evasiveness so uh, I, I don't really consider evasiveness something that you can't necessarily see on the spot but i mean hey some things some good tangible stuff that you, you get in there and the ex skill gauge does increase or recovery by 64 percent so this unit right there is going to be dashing out a lot of ex skill damage so i'm definitely up for that so that's why i do put this one up at s tier all right so for kenfa i am gonna put it in b tier uh it's pretty much doing something what shars uh, sagatu is doing i'm um, providing it's doing a lot of damage overall uh, doing increased damage on projectile weaponry i mean like you're not really offering a whole lot on the table for either your allies or any of that nature so i think it's gonna sit nicely right there uh it's pretty much same thing for the uh more to titan version and um, this one is pretty much just going to be dashing out a lot of damage in itself so um like i said again it doesn't really provide too much to the table where i feel like it needs to be up top or even right here one full burnier man unfortunately uh, i had to put it right here so the ex skill is actually more of a support type role so this ex skill is not really going to be doing damage at all it's going to be providing increased evasive by 23 percent the increasing speed by 54 percent that's actually huge because obviously full burnier and then i think it's a deluxe uh conflict unit category allies get it in or uh, gets uh hp recovery by 18 percent that's actually really specific so you got to be running a team that is dedicated to i guess the starters memory which i feel like that's a little bit too specific um i don't even think we have a whole lot of units from the starters memory i could be mistaken i think there's definitely a good cast unit for it but i feel like at the end of the day that's really restricted to that so i'm definitely not up for that skip one or two actually just give some more damage increase and then uh, damage resistance for beam but at the same time it's not the uh, characteristic is not really too redeeming so i'm just gonna have to put that c unfortunately all right so the thunderbolt uh zaku one right yeah this one is actually not a formable unit and this one does actually deal quite a lot of damage so when you uh, when your ally dies you take advantage of them but you know with them dying you get that buffs pretty much so this one is actually quite good um since this one is not a formal unit i feel like it's pretty deserving to be up top all right we have the thunderbolt gundam full uh full armor uh, i'm gonna put this one right here all right can i do that yeah so this thunderbolt gundam is actually a phenomenal tanking unit it's actually the only one we have of this roster so this one uh during my duration playing on the uh, jp account it has been amazing tanking for me um i re remember there are events that i was not running type specific 
uh, type of match, for example. But this one came through clutch, you know, being uh, up in the front line, being able to tank for me, uh, surviving and whatnot. This one definitely does the job. Uh, you guys may say that this may be a little bit too high, or maybe it deserved to be right here. But um, I think with this game itself, tank unit just isn't. We don't really see a lot, especially from the from the selectable ticket. So I feel like it is very deserving to be right up here. All right, and the last unit we have the Borges Dallas. I, I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyways, this unit is gonna be up in the S tier as well. Uh, this one is actually another amazing unit that actually debuffs the enemy and then also provides damage to your ally as well. So this is a pretty good uh, unit to have around to support your allies, obviously. And this one being a yellow unit, actually a yellow color unit that is actually less represented in the actual color wheel itself so i mean like it's definitely a very deserving for sure um, other than that as far as the skill one and two is actually does various um i guess survivability things for you so this unit is gonna be around and then making sure that um your ally does <laughs> does all the damage while at the same time your enemy is taking more damage as well um other than that i mean that's pretty much it as far as the tier list itself uh you guys can definitely let me know how you guys feel about or le let me know in general which one of the unit you guys are going to be picking out first um yeah you know i think this is but as always do let me know how you guys feel about the ranking itself do you guys think it's a fair uh justification for all of them but i mean other than that that's pretty much it and i'll be catching you guys all on the next one